Hello. In this session, I shall be talking about how to measure a good regression model. First of all, we have to look at R square, must be high value R square, every statistic significant, residual must be free from serial correlation, the residual must be free from heteroscedasticity, the residual must be free from arch effect, and the residual must be normally distributed. Then the model stable. Let me just write it here before we start to measure a good regression model R square must be high. If statistic, if statistics significant. The residual visuals the resig the residuals must be free from serial correlation or auto correlation the residual must be free from hetero skedasticity residual must be free from arch effect then residual must be free must be normally distributed and then the model and the stability of the model in other words The model must be stable. Now we have the three variables GDP. export and import this is the variable and the data is time series 1977 
too intelligent. Okay. Here the data. We open the data. GDP as dependent variable, export and import independent variable. You can open it as you grow. And then this is the data here, 1977 to 2000. GDP, the variable, dependent variable, export and import independent variable. Then, how to develop the model? I go to quick estimate equation that the variable GDP constant export and import. This is the three variable in the regression. Then press OK. This is the output with GDP dependent variable and export import independent variable. From this model, or from this outcome, we can see that first R square 97.59, which is good, and more than 60%, meaning that the model is nicely fitted or the data is fitted nicely because R square is 97.59. Then we look to the p-value, p-value as you can see it here, uh, sorry, uh, f statistic 425 corresponding to p-value less than 1%, which is good sign, significant. And then we look to the variable here, export and import. First I go to export, and you can see the p-value less than 5%. So we have to accept null hypothesis. We have to reject, sorry, we have to reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis, meaning that the export is statistically significant at 5% level. The same thing for import. Import p-value is, or the probability C, less than 5%, meaning that we have to reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative, meaning that import is a statistically significant at 5% significant level. So import is a, a significant variable to explain our dependent variable. Why? The same as export is significant variable to explain our dependent variable GDP. Here we have two significant. That is a good sign for the good model because 50% or more than 50% of the variable are significant to explain the dependent variable. And then we can check in the model the residual. As we mentioned in the top here, the residual first, free from serial correlation, free from heteroscedasticity, and free from arch effect, then must be normally distributed, then the model must be stable. So how to check? We have to check one by one. I'll go first to view, residual diagnostic, serial correlation, leave the lag two as a default. Then here we can see that observed R square corresponding to p-value 6.1%, which is greater than 5%, meaning that the model is free from serial 
correlation because the null p-value is greater than 5%. So what is the hypothesis here? Let me just write it down here in the comment. Our hypothesis First hypothesis for serial correlation, the model must be, as we said, the model must be free from serial correlation. Null hypothesis residual are Residual, residual are not serially correlated. Alternative hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, residual, residuals are serially related. This is the first test which is good. The model is free from serial correlation. Here p-value 4 point p-value 6.1 percent which is which is greater than Five percent, meaning that we have to accept null hypothesis and reject alternative hypothesis. This means. The model is free from serial correlation. The second test we can test the residual must be free from heteroscedasticity, and I'll go to view residual diagnostic. Heteroscedastic test, click OK. You can see our observed R corresponding to p value of 43.01, which is greater than 5%, meaning that we have to, to accept null hypothesis and reject the alternative, meaning that the model is free from heteroscedasticity. Let me just write it here in the note. Null hypothesis the residual the residuals is are free the residual are not. Hetero ski elasticity and alternative hypothesis residual are hetero hetero sorry hetero Skidasticity. Meaning that null hypothesis is homo skidastic.
Okay. Now, p value, p value equal forty-three, forty-three point zero one percent. Greater than than five percent, meaning that we have to accept null hypothesis and reject the alternative hypothesis. which means that the model the model is free from it retro skid elasticity third part here as you mentioned residual must be must be free from arch effect i'll go again to view residual diagnostic heteroscedasticity we select arch effect leave the lag one press ok and here you can see observed r square corresponding to p value 75.56 meaning that the model is free from arch effect just i put a note here null hypothesis the model the model or the residual let me say the residual as we mentioned in the previous the residual are free from arch effect. This is another good sign for of the model. And then we have to check for the normality or normal the residual must be normally distributed. We can go to view again, residual diagnostic, hetero, uh, histogram. You can see here, Jacabra, Jacabra, 1.8. 7, 8, corresponding to p-value 40.97%, which is greater than 5%, which means that we reject the alternative and accept null hypothesis, meaning that the model is or the residual are normally distributed. And the last thing we have to check for the model stability. I'll go to view, stability diagnostic, then Recursive estimate ordinarily square only. Select causal test and press OK. Here you can see the line, the, red, the blue line, lying between the two red line, which is 5% significant level. It means that the model is stable. The other part we have to check for stability, recursive estimate and causal of square test. Then we can see that the model is stable because the blue line is lying between the two 5% level, the two red line.